DistOcean had a lot of tutorials, mm -hmm. uh, where, which I learned a lot from. Okay. So uh, that's what, uh, and then I set it up uh, at first uh, at my home uh, server mm -hmm. uh, for the first time. And uh, then a CI was added, uh, integrated in the, C in the GitLab CI, in the, in the GitLab. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and at my job uh, back then uh, in my internship, I introduced Git GitLab. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, with all those nice uh, features and uh, feature sites and uh, yeah, new shiny things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, okay. uh, it has GitLab and GitHub has uh, quite a lot in, in, in common uh, these days. Mm -hmm. But back then it was uh, the feature set uh, differed a lot. Right. Okay, so in the almost 10 years since you have been using GitLab, um, did you have some upgrades that didn't work very well because you were self-hosting it? Any issues that you ran into it while you were running it yourself that you wish you hadn't? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the upgrades back then uh, were not always that smooth. Mm -hmm. So, for example, uh, maybe the, the major updates, upgrades were not so, what's so smooth. So like 8 to 9, 9 to 10, is that what you're thinking about? No, also the, the, the minor updates, upgrades. Okay. There were bugs introduced. And then we had uh, the option for ourselves to, to go back to the previous previous version of, of GitLab. That was also a reason why we want to self-host. So we mm. we have that, uh, we didn't want to upgrade uh, GitLab uh, before a major client uh, project update, for example. I see, okay. Yeah.